tenant in your life or do you own it? And what do I mean by that? Well, here's what I mean by that. Listen up, folks. We go through our life, and I bet my bottom dollar on this. I've studied humans for the last 20 years. Neuroscience, humans, psychology, stoics, philosophers, you name it. I've studied it and I've had a wonderful time doing it. It absolutely sets me on fire watching how humans work. And what I come across 99.99999% of the time when I am working with people is the fact that most of you are tenants in your own life. That is a waste, folks. That is your life. You have got a mortgage on it. It's yours to live. It's yours to live fully. What we do mostly is we go through life and we are living in the belief systems that our parents, teachers, friends, our grandparents, great grandparents, these have passed down through years and we are living those belief systems. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, is that you say, oh, I'll do it this way because I've always done it this way. Oh yeah, well, yeah, I do it that way. My mum did it that way. Rubbish, this is your life. Find your belief systems. I'll put that into context. Your emotions, uh, which is your mind, are the ones that are running your belief system, is your belief system. Your consciousness, your soul, your spirit, is the one that is running your intelligence. And when you ignite your intelligence and start thinking about these things and start thinking about the way you want to live your life, empowering your life is where you start to enlighten your intelligence to the way that you really, really want to live your life. And I'm emphasizing your life, it's your life. Do you find yourself going through life feeling really, really, really uncomfortable saying no to people? and just going along with the flow. Why, why do you do that? Why, why, why? I, what I would love you to do is the next time you're in a situation that you really don't wanna do, rather than smiling and then going home and saying, God, you know, whatever it was that you were doing, say no, just say no. And you don't have to do it in a, uh, a coarse, terse uh, or a unkind manner. This is, remember, this is your life. It belongs to you. Whatever it is that you want to do in your life, and I am repeating this, I know I'm on repeat this morning, I'm on 45 on repeat, actually I'm 46. Um, it's your life, it belongs to you, and this is the message this week. I really want you to start concentrating on what makes you happy. And if you don't know what makes you happy, now is the time in your life to try and find out what makes you happy. Because the only time that we really have is right now. All as I have right now is standing in this field. That's the only thing I am promised. I don't have the future. Okay, I don't know what's around the corner, but I do have right now. I live very presently in every moment. I enjoy the breath that I take in, the scenery around me. Here we go. And going out with my dogs for 10 minutes and talking to you guys. So the message that I want to leave you with today is go out there and say no. Just say no. There was a song about that once, wasn't there? Have a wonderful day, folks. This is Claire Bell, and I'll chat to you tomorrow. Thank you